So for today's video, we are asking the controversial question, is 30 hours too short for Marvel Spider-Man 2? And my answer to that question is, I have no idea. All right, I guess that's the video today. See you guys next time. I have not played the game yet, so I have no frame of reference to tell you whether or not this game will feel too long or too short. But I do have an article today and I wanted to go over it with you guys and see what you think. So the article I have today is from Dexerto and the article says fans defend Marvel Spider-Man 2 from those who say 30 hours is too short. With Marvel Spider-Man 2 releasing this month, fans are debating whether the game supposed 30 hour length is enough for the web slingers next adventure. This game is set to expand Insomniac's series of web slinging open world action titles with its darker story, new villains, the option to switch between Peter Parker and Miles Morales, and much more. Much more, you say? Do you mean we could play as Venom? So you're telling me there's a chance. Marvel Spider-Man 2 may only take 30 hours to platinum. While Insomniac has already said Marvel Spider-Man 2 will about as long, I guess they meant to say will be about as long as the first game, which runs about 17 hours for the main story and 35 for a completionist run. The conversation is sparked by now deleted tweet from a player who claims they platinum the game in 30 hours. So my feelings on this topic is that we really won't know until the reviews start coming out, until we get more impressions. I find that, you know, one person's opinion isn't really enough for me to have have really enough information to truly know the kind of experience we'll be getting but I will say if the first game is any indication which as we all know there have been times that a sequel is not as good as the first game I mean the main story was super robust in that game the side chains were actually very well thought through that game had the most I've ever seen to do in a spider-man game and the most thought out stuff to do it felt like they actually put a lot of effort into whatever strings you did even outside of the main story so as of now insomniac hasn't really done anything to erode that trust that i have in them but anything is possible i'm not going to sit here and say because i'm a spider-man fan and i am absolutely hyped for this game that i know for a fact that this game will feel long enough or too short or whatever it also depends on your gaming habits everyone's different are you the kind of person that will set aside your whole schedule you'll play this game day in and day out things come easy to you or are you someone who will be playing this maybe an hour or two a day or maybe a couple hours a week or a couple hours a month that will play a massive role in if you feel satisfied with the length of the game and as far as what we've gotten before, Insomniac has 100% like 180 improved everything about Spider-Man games. So I'm anticipating that I will get a full experience from this game and I'm not really concerned. So anyways, if you guys are interested in Marvel Spider-Man 2 content, I just happen to have a playlist right here with a ton of Spider-Man 2 videos ranging from reactions to deep dives to videos like this where I just go over the news. And let me know in the comments below, are you worried about the runtime? Do you think 30 hours is enough? Do you think it's too short? And as always, my name's Eric Rosas and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you.